Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Now, I've got to be honest and say, I've, this is probably the third attempt at recording this because every time I've done so, I've lost, I've lost control. I've just got so angry and I'm very, very reining this one back in. I'm, I'm going to have to try and be as impassionate as I can. But I want you to know that I am seething. I am appalled disgusted and absolutely livid. Don't, I'm trying my best not to show it, but I think you will be too. And it goes to show where we are as a nation and who we are being led by. Degenerates. Now remember this, before we start this, this piece, Keir Starmer is the man who basically let Jimmy Savile get away with it, refused to prosecute, was not in the public interest. Everybody knew, even Keir knew, but they did nothing. They decided it would be better not to. So that's the level that we're, you know, we're dealing with. And the Labour Party, of course, still has Harriet Harman in it, the woman who defended Pi, the information exchange for a certain group who are very, very enthusiastic about young people. And so this should not come as a shock to anyone. But in Newport yesterday... A man walked free. He was allowed to walk free from court. This man did something very bad to a child. Ard the child. We have a child, Ara, who walked free from court. The reason that this Ara, this monster, this degenerate, walked free was because the prisons are overcrowded, because there's too many people in prison. 67-year-old ladies, for example, who wrote some hurty words on Facebook. Somebody who shouted at a dog. Someone who explained that the police did not represent Britain anymore. They're in prison for several years. But Rhys Newman, a 33-year-old, walks free after doing that to a child. I'm going to go through this. I'm, going to, I'm not going to read it all. I just want to read, but I'm going to have to read it as flat as I can. Please understand I am seething. A convicted child, Ara, escaped jail because of the overcrowding crisis in Britain's prisons, it emerged today, with a judge admitting that time behind bars would have been virtually inevitable otherwise. This is, this is just the world we live in today. The world we live in under this, this Labour government, led by a man who is a personal friend and encourager, allegedly, of Jimmy Savile, has seen fit to ensure that someone who does this to a child, I can feel my anger rising, who does this to a child can walk free. But anyone who says anything hurty or bad about him, his party or the way he's running this country goes to jail for years. People of Britain, is this how we want to live? Is this the world we want? We want a world where if you speak your mind, give your opinion, express your political view, you go to prison for two years. But it's OK if you do the most degenerate things to a child. Because it seems to be OK in Keir Starmer's world. Keir Starmer's all for this. Keir Starmer is happy that this man is now out walking the street, isn't he? He's not asking him to be treated firmly by the courts. He's not asking that he goes to jail for a long time. No, only people who use hurty words or who uh, dislike his government and its policies go to jail. And it's going to get worse. You've got Operation Early, Early Dawn or Early Doors. Doors open, lads. Out you go. And they're going to be releasing murderers, auras of women, auras of children onto the streets. People have done GBH, people have done horrific crimes onto the streets. And at the same time, they're going to lock up people who criticise this. 
I don't feel the streets of Britain are, low, are safe any longer, and I certainly don't trust the police. The police have shown that they are not acting for the people. They are propping up this regime of monsters, this dictatorship, this Marxist dictatorship, Stalin-esque dictatorship, and the police are complicit. I'm going to tell you now, if I was walking along the street and there was a policeman getting kicked in and beaten up, do you know what I'd do? Walk on by. I wouldn't stop and help any longer because the police ain't helping me. The police ain't helping the people of this country. The police now represent evil because they are helping a government that is allowing child aras to walk free and locking up political dissidents, but locking up their political enemies. So I'm sorry, I don't, I don't give one flying F about the police anymore. I will not obey them. I will not help them. I will do nothing because they've chosen a side. They've chosen the wrong side. The Stasi in this country can go screw themselves. They've made their choice. And that's fine. But choices have consequences. The legal system has made its choice. It's no longer independent. It's obeying the executive. Keir Starmer is not in charge of the legal system. He's in charge of the executive. And yet there he is telling the legal system what they should do. So much for the three independent pillars of state, eh? That's not there. So yeah, screw them all. Screw them all. We've got to fight this uh, one way or another, preferably peaceably, preferably legitimately, preferably at the ballot box. That's if we ever get a chance to vote again, the way it's going. Britain is a pressure cooker. Things like this push us down further and further. The pressure builds. Britain is bubbling, it's boiling. And then things like this happen that pressure cooker will blow. And then what's he gonna do? Send in the army, shooting Brits on the streets. I wouldn't put it past him. He is Stalin reborn. You cannot accept what he's doing to this country. He's 50 days in and Britain has changed beyond all recognition. And we have to fight for our future, fight for our very survival as a nation, as a culture, because he's determined to destroy it all. And letting a child Aras out on the street is just the start. Wow, I got through to the end without losing my rag. Well done me. I am angry. Thank you very much. Goodbye.